Hi everyone, welcome to this presentation. I'm Dr. Mahendra Samaravikrama, Manager of Data Science and Analytics in Australian Red Cross. This presentation is about mitigating risk related to changing Earth's natural soundscapes due to climate change. This is a collaborative project with the University of Sydney and the University of Technology Sydney. Professor Craig Jean and Dr. Ravindra Ranasinghe work as volunteer data scientists in this project. As you can see in the image, which was published by Sir Karus and Alma Farina in 2019, there is an impact to natural soundscapes due to climate change. Climate change can impact on ecology, biodiversity, and cause natural imbalance. Let's listen to Dr. Udita Vijay Tunga's experience related to her research at the University of Sydney. It is good to hear about this project related to climate change as it is a global challenge. Um, my research at University of Sydney was about one of the world's worst invasive species, which is the cane toad, Rhinella marina. This animal was introduced to tropical Australia in 1935 and it has been widely spreading around that area since then. And um, I did my research along the southern parts of Australia, where the cooler climate is. I studied the consequence of abiotic conditions, uh, specifically the temperature, on various life stages of these invasive uh, cane toad. My field studies show that the available ponds often average around 20 degrees Celsius, which is 10 degrees Celsius lower than in many areas of the toad's native range or its Australian tropics. However, with the climate change, the rise of temperature can affect the pond temperature increase and provide suitable breeding grounds for these invasive toads. So this can lead uh, these introduced species to spread further to the southern parts of Australia. This gradual movement can adversely affect the biodiversity of that novel environment because Many species in that environment, specifically the predators, have not exposed to these newly introduced animal, and that can adversely affect the food chain, and ultimately it can affect the natural balance of that novel environment. Recently, we have identified changes in natural soundscapes such as changes in bird singing, sound generated from wind, water, and plants. One of the root causes of these changes is climate change. Now, these changes have affected indigenous communities and other communities having attached to this natural environment. Further, these changes can impact on the local economies and green economies which rely on these natural soundscapes. Therefore, there is a social impact due to changes in natural soundscapes by climate change. Moreover, we are facing devastating bushfires, cyclones, heat waves, droughts, and floods, which can also be identified as a consequence of climate change. These climate changes related effects generate adverse soundscapes which are become more frequent than before. For example, Australia's bushfires cause significant damage to the environment, which diminish the tranquility of the natural soundscape. In our project, we are expecting to measure these changes in soundscapes, which are caused by climate change and the effects of the climate change. Our motivation in this project is identifying the impact to natural soundscapes due to climate change and mitigating risks which they cause on communities who love natural soundscapes and the environment. In this perspective, we are planning to leverage our capabilities through this project particularly related to power of volunteering, power of partnerships, and some of our future focus program of prepare for changing climate, 
working alongside Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples and humanity. Therefore, this project facilitate and create a broader environment to make synergy between Red Cross Future Focus programs. Now I would like to talk a little bit about our partners in this project. The University of Sydney and the University of Technology Sydney work in collaboration with the Australian Red Cross in this project. University of Sydney's Computing and Audio Research Lab is headed by Professor Craig Jean. He is a volunteer in Australian Red Cross as well. Let's listen to what he thinks about this project. Hi everyone, my name is Craig Jin, and it's a great opportunity to volunteer with the Red Cross and link some university research efforts with the efforts of the Red Cross Serving Humanity. I am Director of the Computing and Audio Research Laboratory here at the University of Sydney, and our lab has over two decades of experience in acoustic science and engineering. As an example of our work, we have contributed a spatial hearing aid algorithm for the Starkey hearing aid branded as Acuity Immersion in the commercial context. Climate change is an important research focus to mitigate future risk and vulnerabilities to societies. Along these lines, we can work together with the Red Cross to provide benefit. In particular, we are exploring acoustic measurements of the ecological soundscape in regions of Australia sensitive to climate change. The ecological soundscape can provide information related to the social, cultural, and ecological aspects of climate change. In this perspective, we are focusing on the fact that climate change poses a major threat to the health of indigenous communities and their ability to sustain their traditional life, language, and cultural heritage. Therefore, we intend to monitor the effects of climate change via its impact on ecological soundscapes around indigenous communities. As a proof of concept, we are planning to measure the acoustics of natural habitats around indigenous communities and also measure the acoustics within the indigenous community. In this way, we can explore the interrelationship between the ecological aspects and the social and cultural aspects of climate change. Thank you very much. Similarly, the University of Technology Sydney's Centre for Autonomous System has strong capabilities in machine learning, AI, sensor networking, and Internet of Things. Dr. Ravindra Ranasinghe is a senior lecturer in UTS and also a volunteer data scientist in the Australian Red Cross. Let's listen to what he thinks about this project. Hi, everyone. I'm Ravindra Ranasinghe, a senior researcher at uh, University of Technology, Sydney, and also work as a volunteer data scientist uh, at Australian Red Cross. In this collaboration work with Red Cross, uh, my main objective is to serve humanity by bringing our research outcomes to the social benefits. We are one of the largest uh, robotics research groups in Australia with years of experience in machine learning, perception, sensing, signal processing, and sensor networks. We believe that our expertise in these core research areas are very valuable in the pursuit of finding solutions to the impact of uh, climate change, especially to the Australian indigenous community. We believe there exists a very strong synergy between Australian Red Cross motivations and research values of our university on serving communities in related to the climate change issues. We plan to contribute to gather useful information using various sensors that could be used to identify direct or proxy cues for environmental changes. This is a great opportunity to work with Australian Red Cross and to eventually serve humanity. Thank you. Here is the summary of our presentation. This project improves our understanding of how climate change impacts Australia's natural soundscapes and help us to mitigate associated social impacts. It complements with Australian Red Cross programs of power of volunteering, power of partnerships, prepare for changing climate, working alongside Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples and humanity. Further, this project enhances Australian Red Cross research and innovation capabilities around climate change. Moreover, it enhances our capabilities to partnership with universities, particularly in the science and technology sector. The insight can be used to partner with the key strategy and policymakers for humanity. 
the project will increase our brand advocacy, brand trust, and brand love. Here are some of references I referred in my presentation. Thank you all for listening this presentation.